We've got breaking news for you. This is in regards to Cleveland. We're hearing now that Tristan Thompson has been injured. Cavs forward uh, who left in the second quarter on Wednesday against the Pacers with a strained left calf is expected to be out approximately a month. Now that's already a blow to a team is having a hard time starting off this uh, this season already. Joining us now is George Sedano. So George, uh, you just told me moments ago that you heard last night that it seemed pretty bad. In fact, some folks saw him with crutches. We're hearing now, mm -hmm. according to our Jeff Goodman, he's expected to be out about a month. Right. Uh, what does this do to an already shaky team? Well, it's interesting, Kerry. Um, you know, my thought initially is like, look, it's just October. Well, now November. Um, let's just chill out, right? It's not a big deal. Um, but I do think this Cavs team is full of guys who have been injured before, right? Like a Derrick Rose, a Dwayne Wade. Now you've got Tristan, who's not a guy who's normally hurt, getting hurt. I'm starting to worry a little bit. I think this is going to be something that they're going to have to overcome uh, throughout the season. The injury issues are going to be there. Uh, this team isn't gelling, and because there's guys that are dinged up, it's going to be even harder to gel. So they could have some real challenges this season. Okay, so that's what I, I want to stay at what you initially said. It's October, what, seven to eight games? Yeah. November uh, now. Yes. Yeah, November, yeah, 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 yeah. yes. yes. <laughs> seven yes. to eight games. Yeah, yeah. Why are we concerned already with this team? Well, I think it's because it's such a new squad, right? And they're, it, the biggest predictor of future injury is past injury, right? So when you have guys like Rose, when you have guys like Wade, I, um, I, I think that becomes a problem. Like, how, uh, how available are they going to be during the season? And if that's the case, if this team just kind of coasts through the regular right. season, what seating do they need for you to feel comfortable that they can actually win this thing and get to the finals again? Because that, to me, is all the questions that are going to surround this now. Can they beat Boston, right? All right. Uh, without Gordon Hayward, we assumed, oh, yeah. it's going to be a layup. No but pun injury, intended. But now all these injuries injury, are mounting up for them. Injury, right. So now injury, you, you start yeah. to think, well, maybe the playing field is a little level. Boston's playing better now. Kyrie's certainly motivated to play against this Cavs team. All right. So stand by, George, because we actually have Jeff Goodman on the phone here yep. with us. Again, first reported by the Vertical and confirmed by ESPN. Tristan Thompson expected to be out approximately uh, one month. Joining me now on the phone are Jeff Goodman. Jeff, uh, what, can, what more can you tell us? Us about Tristan Thompson you know my source told me he's got a calf strain he'll miss about a month or so and you know Tristan Thompson hasn't been all that effective so far this year uh, one source told me he didn't come in in great shape uh, it gives him defense and certainly that will hurt them because it's another big down so they'll be more reliant on Channing Fry. you might even see some of, of Ante Zizic who was acquired in the Kyrie Irving trade you know, talented, young, big, but really hasn't gotten uh, much of a taste in the NBA yet. So, uh, again, it's going to hurt them more from a, from a toughness, from a defensive standpoint as much as anything. But Tristan really hadn't given him a whole hell of a lot so far. All right. Thank you so much, Jeff Goodman, for joining us here on Coast to Coast with that information. OK, so, George, you heard what he had to say. Mm -hmm. uh, he didn't come in. His sources are telling him he right. didn't come in in great shape. Right. Um, well, you could see that, it. I mean, if you yeah. look at him, he doesn't look like. Did you feel in the, the same shape. way? Yeah, he doesn't look like the guy he's looked like in years past, for sure. OK, so now what does that do to this roster? Um, it's going to be interesting, right? LeBron in, at the beginning of the season was talking a lot about Kevin Love playing the center and them wanting to play small. Well, they may not have a choice now. Uh, Kevin Love may be playing more center than we even anticipated because they expected to do that in small doses to be able to kind of change the flow of a game. Yeah. Now that may have to be the starting lineup potentially. As, and as Jeff pointed out, they'll sprinkle in some other guys just to give them some rest. It's interesting. This is my last quick question for you. I was going to say how much is the blank? How much would you blame LeBron for this bad start? But now it looks like it's being overshadowed by Tristan Thompson's yeah, no. picture. I mean, listen, Kerry, LeBron, I know he got dinged up in the preseason or whatever, yeah. but LeBron has been awesome. If anything, LeBron is the least of their problems. He's been fantastic. Uh, he's putting up, you know, what is it, 30 points the other night, and they sure. still got crushed uh, against the Knicks. So this is a team that you start to wonder about the other parts. They're older players, right? Guys who have been injury prone. We still don't know what Isaiah Thomas is going to look like. That could be a jolt. But what if he doesn't come back in January? Yeah. There's a lot of questions surrounding this Cavs team. Wow, you said it. A lot of questions surrounding the Cavs team again. But it's November, as you it pointed is. out. It's We're, early. Uh, uh, a cautious optimism. But we love the here. drama. Come on. But we do. George Sedano joining us here on Sports Center Coast to Coast. Thanks for chiming in, my man. You got it.